All right. Hello and welcome, everybody. It is Monday. That means it's time for some more Ogre Battle goodness. We've got Muppy along with us. I made it back. He survived. He survived the path through the Kalbi Peninsula. The Ogre Ring. The Ogre Ring of Battling. We might actually be getting close to an actual battle with an ogre or something like that. Because uh, we've got... Uh, last time we got a clue about where the Brunhild Sword was and where a Chaos Gate was. So this time... Um, we last That is to say, last time we managed to kind of heal some of the weaknesses that some of our units had, level-wise. Like, uh... And Kimball's level 13, but that's not too bad. We have some people who can uh, class up, but we'll do that once we deploy them, if we deploy them. Uh, we have a couple of knights who can become paladins, one Valkyrie who can become muse, and that's all of note. That's just that green dragon once again that we're keeping for completeness purposes. I already got us items, so actually what we're going to start today with is a quick glance at the Castellation Sea, because last time we got a hint that the Brunhild sword that we need is somewhere in this map. So we've got plenty of cash, which is nice. We'll launch... Who? Uh, is Morris a... Morris is a high sky unit. Pretty cheap, too. So we're gonna do a quick check of all the different cities and make sure that there's not like a clue, an obvious clue that they hand us. Also get Jean's team out. Jean's team's not too expensive. The it's always good to go into battle with some of that Raytheon money. Yeah. The um, we're kind of fortunate that uh, two of our high sky teams are not very expensive. I mean, it's helpful. It means we can do expeditions like this without losing tons and tons of cash. Alright, time to moonwalk across the ocean. Oh yeah. Have you met the, met the witch Mongo? She lives on the town of Baipao on an island to the east. I think we've already talked to her. But I guess we can do it again. Maybe we need to send the main character there. That would be a little strange, but not out of the ordinary. Or, not out of the conceivable. exactly how I used to explore creeks when I was a kid. Yeah, moonwalking? Moonwalking and, oh look, something tiny, some tiny little outcrop of land. I will step on it. Yes. Well, in this case, it's important because we have a freaking magic sword to look for. And of course, they're never going to make it easy for us to find a magic sword. Okay, we've got humans and mer people getting along. That's nice and happy. Happy days. Fortunately, we shouldn't have to face any like significant fights here. It'll be something very basic. Morris's unit has stopped moving. No, not there. Damn it. Maybe there? We gotta try to crisscross all the island masses as, m as much as we can. Jeez, everybody needs new moves. We'll have him kick around that way. And she'll kick around this way. Again. I feel like we've checked a lot of these islands, but we'll see. Can it be in the middle of the ocean? Uh, it could be, but we would need some kind of a, a hint as to where to comb the ocean, because otherwise we just waste a ton of time. Try 
describe this little peninsula here? Two units stop moving almost, almost simultaneously. so quick. <sighs> I'm suspicious. We have actually one uh, little little I get so mad about eating a mermaid or two. It's not like we're eating humans. No, the point is that they're sapient beings, just like, just like I. <laughs> I don't understand what you're so upset about. <laughs> I. It's just like. It's just so ridiculous. It's no, just screaming at you and begging and pleading for mercy and, and and just just hoping that you'll stop sticking the pronged fork into its shoulder. Basically, it's kind of ridiculous, honestly. It's like, hmm, this one's delicious. It's really strange, though. You'd think I'd be a bit put off by the fact that the upper half of it looks like my wife. <laughs> but actually, that helps. <laughs> <laughs> no, not you. Okay, you, I guess. Jeez, everyone's so quick. I mean, the Brunhild sword should be hidden here somewhere. We just... I mean, we could look around the... Like, are there any, like, little spots of the ocean that are, like, suspiciously dark blue or suspiciously light blue? It doesn't look like it. It just looks like it kind of follows the coastline. So, like, there's nothing in the shallows that suggests to me, hey, there's buried treasure here. So it feels like there's not a whole lot to be gained there. Now, who am I commanding? Her? Jean? All right, go Jean, go. Because there's basically two places that the sword could be, right? It could either be in one of those, like, find-out things, where it's like, hidden. you found buried treasure. Or it could be in one of the cities. And those are just kind of our two options. It'll be inside the corpse of a mermaid that people are eating. Maybe. Visit the volcano. Two of the units' name isn't Joe. That's a that's an eighty use movies reference. Yes. I'm yes, sure that's well, I'm sure that's why all you youngins are here on Twitch for references to movies from forty five years ago. <laughs> what if your entire audience is ten years older than you? Well, I mean, that's possible. It would be extremely statistically unlikely. Wait, is someone... No, someone... Everyone's moving. Okay, we're gonna have her go visit this island and talk to... What's her face? Mango? Mango. Both humans and mer people can get along now. <laughs> and like in that one town, a couple of mer people are like, "Hey, can I just can I just get a bite of you?" And they're like, "No, I'm a human being."
it's, you know, through the generations, this is going to lead to cannibalism one way or another. I mean, it kind of already is. Like, you know, what the heck? No, but in a funnier way. Like, like the mermaids actually realize, you know what? There's, there's actually something to this uh, humans eating mermaids thing. Have you actually like, like tried taking a bite out of each it's other? It's like that lately? Far Side comic. Like, there's that Far Side comic where there's a cow, and he's like, he's got this this devastated look on his face. He's like, he's like oh my god, we're delicious. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's a there's a there's another ancient reference for for old people. So I hope you enjoyed my Far Side reference. Is Gary Larson even still alive? I don't know, but Gary Larson is time immemorial. That is true. That is true. There's no way that humans and merpeople can live in peace. No way. Not even gonna Not try. while you're eating them. Not while you're eating them, no. And, and I don't know. I mean, humans kind of live in peace with cows, if you think about it. Kind of, sort of? We have a symbiotic relationship. Got like a bunch of mermaids on like on like an aqua farm somewhere, and, and they're trying to talk. And the farmer is just like, just say moo, just 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 say moo. Don't say anything else. That's the only way that I can get through my job comfortably. Basically. <laughs> All right, we've got I am the great and beautiful Mongo. Did you want something? Uh, yes. What do you want to hear about? Uh, don't ask about fruit. Don't ask about fruit. Don't sky ask. Sky islands. Fruit. They're islands which float in the sky. She thanks. I went there once with my sisters. They were set into the sky by the gods long before even the ogre battle. They float through power I can't dream of having. The power of the gods themselves. Somewhere among those islands live the three high knights. To get there, you'll have to find the chaos gates. But I don't know where they are now. I guess we can ask her multiple questions? Maybe? Everyone's moving. Or story time with the Mango. Tell me about the Ogre Battle. Mango humans and monsters battled for ownership of the Earth. They fought for thousands of years. The humans sided with the gods, and the monsters sided with the demons. The humans were outnumbered. Just as all humans were forced to retreat all the way to these islands, the three High Knights appeared. They led twelve wizards, and in a final great battle, they managed to defeat the monsters. The three High Knights returned to the Sky Islands, left only the sword Brunhild behind. That's how the humans gained ownership of the Earth. Okay, where's the sword Brunhild? It's around. It's somewhere. Probably trip over it if you keep on looking around. Okay, so we checked the peaks of both of the whatchamacallits, uh, volcanoes. Now, I feel like this is going to lose me reputation, but we're going to ask her the third question. Yes. Why sweet young things like yourself, honey, he he he. That's very helpful. <sighs> Wonderful. Excellent work. It's worth 50% of your reputation. <laughs> right? <laughs> I hope humans and people can get along. Can't we all? He said with a mouthful. Of Yeah, of mermaid meat. I'm not letting you get away with being subtle on that one. He's like, yep, uh, uh, one day, one day we'll be getting along with this food. Yep. Well, it isn't there. There's this tiny island over here. Everyone's moving. As long as everyone's moving, we're good. Look here, buddy. That better be dolphin safe, mermaid. Well, I mean, I wouldn't want to be cruel. Dolphins no, are intelligent yeah, we, creatures. Yes, we wouldn't want to get we wouldn't want them to get mixed up with non-sentient beings right. like the mermaids. Right. Dolphins sometimes make funny noises. They must be hyper intelligent. stupid Brunhild sword must be somewhere. The question is, where the hell is it? There's like a big neon sign that says Brunhild Mountain. Yeah, right? Like, it'd be great if there was something like that, but there's totally not. So I'm forced to, like, checking the peaks of mountains and little tiny outcroppings of land and random towns. Okay, you're gonna try 
try that. That builds time. character. I mean, it builds character, but it wastes time and money. And time and money are important in this game. Character is not. Character is too. I mean, you know, if you lose all your reputation, you get locked into a bad ending. But yes, this is how we have to start this episode. It's all right if we go to all the towns and don't find anything and don't and you know a little bit of um, looking around for good goodies doesn't yield anything. We still have one more ace up my sleeve. After a quick break to dine on some mermaid. Basically, yes. Um, try there. Got a little bit of volcano Reno action there. There, I mean, that's why we checked them because they were they are conspicuous. I wonder if we humans aren't the true owners. We should be ashamed for some of the things we do, but not eating mermaids. But not eating. <laughs> There's no shame in that whatsoever. Okay, we're losing cash, but it's only 10k. It's not too bad. Have you heard of the High yeah, Knights? Yes. If you want to meet them, you need the Sword Brunhild. Thank, thank you. I know that. Oh my god. Halfway between the two volcanic openings? I don't know. It's starting to seem more and more like this is going to be an event thing, isn't it? I... No, it's starting to seem more and more like this is going to be a, a find-out thing, where it's just randomly somewhere on the map. And that's exactly what I didn't want it to be. I wanted there to be, like, a town where they're like, the Sword Brunhild... It is rumored that the Sword Brunhild is, you know, located to the east of such-and-such -such town. But so far, that hasn't happened. And it's You're gonna go to a town, and someone's gonna be like, "Look, just put in the contra code. That's how you get it." Up, up. This isn't a Konami game. <sighs> There's no way the humans can, and people can live in peace. They, they seem to be like exactly halfway divided. How can you easily find hidden towns? Well, the best way to send a unit to any place that looks suspicious. Thanks, game. I needed that. I needed that 12 maps in. Thanks. Sheesh. I mean, what looks suspicious on this map? What's our full view? The, this ocean is said to be the location of the final battle in the Ogre Battle Legend. If you want to hear about the Ogre Battle, you should meet the Witch Mongo. But we did! We did, and we asked her four separate questions. No, I don't want you to... Damn it. So that implies to me that it might actually be somewhere in the middle of the ocean. Which is horrifying. Like, hold on a sec. Is there any spot that looks like a crater? Aside from this middle part right here, which might be like a gigantic crater, like, there's no, like, little speck of dark blue or anything like that. <sighs> Fine. The thing is, and I guess I may as well just spoil it, we've we got a dowser earlier in the game. Dowser will give us an idea of where something is on the map, if there is any hidden treasure. So assuming that we completely run out of places to look, we can try using that Dowser, and that might give us the clue that we need. Your team has tripped over about five other magic swords trying to find Brunhild. Well, I mean, these are the only ones that matter, so... I found the great demon sword Skazarax. Yeah, uh, is that the sword we were looking for? Well, no, but Does yeah, it say yeah. Brunhild on the handle? No? Then it's not what we care about. Put it down. We got other things to do. 
Throw well, that I trash can't take away. it with us? No. No, we don't have room in our inventory. We have tons of room in our inventory. No. It takes 17 people to carry Brunhild. What, really? It's a big sword. What are we going to do with it? It actually has to be used as like a dinner table. Yes, yeah, so if you eat off of it, it provides stat boosts. Right. I don't know, if they fought in the ocean, then maybe in the deepest parts of this little chunk in the middle, there'll be something. I might just manage to stumble onto it. Because we're not going to look it up. I'm not going to look it up for my first playthrough. That seems annoying. Or unfair. Maybe on a second playthrough by myself I'll look it up. But not for not for this. The thing that we don't want to happen is we don't want the dowser to like pick up like a freaking like pebble that happens to be laying in one of the one of the find out spots. So we really don't want to use it until absolute last moment. Dowser doesn't give us the answer, I may just reset the game. Because, frankly, it's not worth wasting a Dowser if it doesn't give us the thing that we're looking for. Maybe we need to uh, do something else in order to get this sword? It's just they're giving us so many freaking clues about it. And I feel like it's the time, the time to find it is now, but I could be wrong. Resetting the game after using a once-only or a super rare item is something that I will do on a playthrough like this. a duck hunter that's just watching is like, hey, there's a cleric over there that's just like zigzagging his way across the island. And... Is he okay? That uh, must be a bishop, actually. Oh, yeah. That makes sense. Freaking sword? Hmm. 
Many people have different opinions. Don't believe everything, everything everyone says. You need to know the difference between good and evil for yourself. Okay... Any of that advice that you're willing to give? Maybe point to a magical sword somewhere? No. Go away. Okay, where else could Jean go and check? In here? There's a little bay? I don't know if we've checked this island out fully. On the plus side, since we're not taking tribute money from the cities, we don't lose reputation for wasting time here. We just lose money. So if we end up finding Brunhild and, you know, waste 20k in, in Goth, that's not so bad. There's another 11,000 goth gone. If there's a hidden town somewhere that I still am missing, I, I don't know what I'm going to say. Yeah, where haven't we checked? I can't think of any place that we really haven't, like, at least given passed over. So, so, so saying no doesn't give us anything useful. We'll ask her the three questions with the main character group. Humans are battling for ownership of the earth. They fought for thousands of years. Humans side with the gods. Monsters side with the demons. This all looks the same. That is indeed all the same. I'm pretty sure I already checked there, but did I check the top of that mountain? Sky, not just a legend, went there with sisters. They were set there by the gods, the power of the gods themselves, three high knights, and the chaos gates. Don't know where they are now. One 
one last question. Uh, what are you gonna Columbo Mango? I mean, I don't think we have a choice, do we? I would really like to know where a sword is. I, I want to know where a sword is? Okay. This is it. We're gonna use the freaking dowser. It's dowsing time. It, it just points to the tastiest mermaid meat. Yeah. Shows the location of one buried treasure. We're gonna do it! There is no buried treasure. Cool! Resetting! <laughs> <laughs> well, now we know. Now we know. was ridiculous, but okay. Should have opened with that. I guess... Well, no, because I would have still had to check all the towns. And I still would have had to move the main character over to Mongo to, to chat with her. Because sometimes story stuff happens when a certain person talks with a certain person. So anyway. I guess we're setting that aside for the moment, because there must be some kind of story thing required to actually find it, which we're just not ready for. The other thing that we could do is we could head to the Calbi Peninsula, and we could find the Chaos Gate. If we can do that, maybe that opens up that, that pathway. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to send Morris's team out, and we're just going to explore these mountains. Because this is where they said the, that it was. So there's Gene's team. Have her start at the opposite corner. There are no hidden treasures here. Are you kidding me? Oh, crap. We're just going to go straight across this whole corner in zigzag fashion. It's gonna take some time, but we're just gonna have to do it. Jinjun attacked by a neutral character. Ooh, a dragon. Join us. The dragon joins us. I just look like fun. You guys are an army? What's that? grid is not too uh, coarse. We'll see. in a desert. We could be like, we're combing the desert! That's another 45-year-old movie reference, but uh, there you go.
They said it was in the mountains. Not in the forest near the mountains, but in the mountains. This spot looks a little suspicious. Let's make sure we cross that straight on. Neutral character again. Ooh, ice giant. Join? Ice giant joins. I mean, he's a nice guy. He just has a chilling effect on everyone else. Tell him to cool off. Or you could tell him to cool it, which is another reference to a movie from 40 years ago. <laughs> a lot of references to old movies today. <laughs> Climb these mountains. serious like field effect going on with where these neutral characters are we're gonna have to dismiss a couple of them this is ridiculous I'll slide into your dms here zip some of them go guys we've amassed an army of dragons of good dragons In the last battle you're just gonna overwhelm the enemy <laughs> if only that were possible like unit size is limited to a certain size so yeah you're kind of just stuck once you get to five you five characters per unit there's some cash like they have all the most powerful magic in the world, but then they look up and they see a just an avalanche of dragons coming down the mountains. <laughs> and they're like, oh no. Oh no. can't find even the chaos gate at this point like because they totally have been hinting at us that we need to find the chaos gate they're like it's just in these mountains it's like you can just find it it's like really and they're like yeah totally and right over there and if it turns out now that like that's not how it's gonna work 
Like there has to be some story effect to it, or like we have to get Tristan first or something. I'm gonna be really pissed. <laughs> yeah, I, I know what gate you're talking about. I see it every day. I walk right past it. It's in this mountain. Highly doubt it. That would be that would be too ridiculous. Too easy to find just walking by. What I'll do is have the main characters unit visit all the little bits of, of uh, land where there's like no no, no mountain. He'll move faster along that space. It's a little funny that the game makes you do this. Again? She's got an attack you know, by like four neutral units this, this fight. Like, this is ridiculous. Uh, you know, the dragons see all their friends hanging out in a new place and they want in. Oh, it's, yeah, okay. It's like a, like two gas stations on the corner effect. Yeah. That makes sense. Disconcerted. See, this would be much easier in the PlayStation version because we could set up a bunch of waypoints. Next unit has been attached by a new, neutral character. Okay, that's even that it's happening again. I heard this was the cool place to be. Great, yeah, totally. I don't know if we can use this many silver dragons. Like, let's just go to our units. I mean, we could replace all of our hellhounds with silver dragons. <laughs> <laughs> that would be one way to do it. Or half of them. Look at this! Silver, 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 black. We just have a bajillion freaking dragons. And they're not bad, too. We're like level 11. The problem is that they have, their movement is in snow, which is not so useful for us. Because, I mean, like, there are only a few different snow areas in the game. Oh, now he got attacked by a neutral character. At least it's not the same unit over and over again. Ooh, this is new. An iron golem. We could use another one of them, actually. 
<laughs> just skidding along. Yeah, well, you know, they they had a limited amount of memory for animations. And most of the characters don't really need animations for movement, because they just don't. And just a nudge down. Problem is that I don't know how big the um, how big the area of uh... holy cow. We're already at fifty minutes. We are not going to have time to do a full map this time. It's just not going to happen. I don't think. We this is an to... Easter egg hunt we're doing. It, 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 it's, it's, it's worse than an Easter egg hunt because at least on Easter eggs you know that there actually is something to look for. And if we don't find this Chaos Gate, I'm going to be pissed. Because, like, we should be able to at least find it, right? And, like, they'll be like, oh, you can't go through the Chaos Gate without the Brunhild Sword. I hope. Because I'm quite literally not trying to spoil myself with this, so I'm not looking it up. But, like, man. I feel like you would have to have the sword for the gate to appear, though. Well, no, you have to have the sword for the gate to open. Is what they've been telling us. Which isn't the same thing. I mean, maybe you're right. Maybe you do need it, but like that's not what they've been telling us in the in the you know. It might not be what the dialogue. game is telling you, but I feel like my video game logic is kicking in, and that's just the progression that they want you to take. I mean, yes and no. There was a specific dialogue where they're like, "Oh, the Empire's looking for it, and they don't have the sword." And so I was like, "Well, that means that we can at least find it if we don't have the sword, maybe." So that's why we're doing this. I mean, you know, if it turns out we're wrong, that's all right. There's some more cash gone. bite-sized chunks of mermaid. Delicious bite-sized mermaid chunks. <laughs> Carrying around mermaid jerky. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's the only way you can keep warm in the, you know, these, uh... <laughs> in these high-altitude zones. <laughs> Guys, there are so many easier things to, to farm. Why are we... Why are we all eating mermaid jerky? <laughs> when you're um when when you're zooming in and zooming out it's just like one of those little nice touches all the way over this way probably stop here character. You guys are going to fill our inventory up. I guess we could kill them, but that seems like... that seems not nice. And... Boop. 
And yeah, you might be right. We might need the sword Brunhild to find it. I kind of feel like the the whole point of it is, oh, they, they're trying to find it, but you can find it first because you'll have the sword. Except we don't have the sword. And they told us where the sword is, but, but you we should. can't get the sword. Well, did we miss the sword? Is that what happened? Like, maybe we missed the sword. Maybe we can't get there. It would be a little strange this early in the game to lock ourselves out of, to be locked out of something like that, you know? Maybe. But, but maybe maybe it's just part of the story progression that you're going to get the sword when you do the map and then you can go to the gate. Well, no, but they, they told us that the sword is in the Castellation Sea and we finished the Castellation Sea. That's my point. Like, we finished the Castellation Sea and then three maps later we were here and they're like, by the way, the sword Brunhild is in the Castellation Sea. And it's like, okay, well then we have to find it. But we couldn't find oh. it. And yeah, it's, it's, it's very disconcerting at this point. Because Morris and Jean are going to cross each other's paths at this point. And so we've checked all these mountains and we haven't found anything. Maybe it's one of them things where you're not supposed to go back there just yet to get the sword. But they gave us so many hints! They gave us so many hints it was ridiculous! They kept talking about it! And usually when they talk about stuff it's like in the same map. Like, like it, that's the way it was with the Saladin statue. That's the way it was with um, a bunch of stuff. Like, there's a couple of exceptions. One is the is, is like the Golden Bow. One, but even the Golden Beehive was all on the same map. I don't know. I'm. I guess we're done. That sucks. Okay. Well, we either have missed it completely, or we need some other story thing to happen before we can actually get it. So we're just gonna let these last two characters finish their their little tricks. And maybe we'll visit this one town right here real quick. Actually, you, you know what we should do is we should visit all the towns. Maybe there'll be an extra clue. Okay. You go here. Let's go, let's go. Again? She's not even in the mountains this time. Dang. And it's funny because the befriend chance is like really, really high. Like if the befriend, if the befriend, befriend chance was low, it'd be like more forgivable to fight them, but well, he just didn't say anything. That was weird. Did they say? Mountains to north. Yeah. Were you able to for find Brunhild? It's somewhere in the Castellation Sea. See, that's the problem. That's the thing that's bugging me really badly. Because they're like, it's totally there. And I'm like, but, but it's not. And you're sure it's not kicking around in your inventory somewhere? I don't think so. Caused in the fabric of space time due to wizard's magic. Yeah, I mean, as far as I can tell, like, they're giving us hints about, like, hey, did you find it in the Castellation Sea? That's where it is. It's totally there. But it's not. This guy doesn't say anything either. That's really weird. one other thing that might be worth checking. These mountains, this little this little tiny bit of mountains over here. Little mountainy chunks. Yeah, basically. We'll lose another 10k, it's not that big of a deal.
Maybe there's an item that we need to give to um, Mongo in order to get her to like tell us where the Burnhild sword is. Maybe we get something later in the game that'll that is like something she wants. Threaten and cajole her. I, w I wish I could, but I can't. They're happy that they're rid of the Empire. Good for them. Go here instead. Yeah, cash. Jean's unit finished moving. Skylands were just myths, but if the Empire has really found a cascade, then both they and the Three High Knights must be real. a short episode, because if I start a new map, it's going to be another four hours on top of the one we've already done. Yeah, and I am at a loss. It looks you, like you're covering ground pretty well, so I don't... Do you guys have a moon rose? The wizard in Zolmstein will pay, will pay you well for it. It's on a small island of the southeast. Oh. I don't have a moon rose anymore. I sold it. Island of the southeast. Is this Zolmstein? Maybe. Check. Hold on. I'll have him start moving towards this city, and then we'll check. Yeah, thanks, Gene. Yep, that's Zolmstein. So if we had a moon rose, we could sell it there for a good price, but we don't have one, so... Dupe to do. that we got we sold for 5,000 in a much earlier map. I always thought the Skylines were myths, but the Empire really found them, then yeah, we've got that message already. Thank you, game. Have we visited this town yet? I don't remember. Gosh, I wonder if it could be in this mountain range. I guess we could check it. I thought you did check there. No, no, I haven't checked this, this, I checked this whole corner up here, but not, like, this little chunk of mountains over here. <clears throat> the continent of Atalia is also called the Land of the Imprisoned One. I wonder who, could, who on earth it could be that's imprisoned there. I don't know. Ogres? Just a handful of them. Chilling.
I always thought this. Yeah, we already. We've had that dialogue box already three times, or something like that. It's getting a little ridiculous. Useless no nonsense. heard this one too. <clears throat> I guess we I guess we did visit this town. Mm. Morris, why are you moving? Morris will move when it suits Morris. He will move when I order him to and no and no later. Otherwise, he'll be out of the army as a useless beast man. We're removing your mermaid rations. No, not my mermaid rations. to say that there is no way for us to find the Chaos Gate quite yet. Yeah, I'm prepared to say that. It, it sounds right. Uh, it sounds iffy. It sounds iffy. But it sounds kind of like a right iffy. Uh, I'm not sure. This game's usually not cryptic like that. If they say it's, it's there, you can usually find it. If they say... Oh, you need this to find it? That's different. What they said to us is that we needed it to... to I don't know. It's... Whatever. So we're going to call this an episode pretty... Like, a short one, basically. Yes, if we learned anything today, it was that mermaid meat is absolutely delicious. And, and nutritious. Yes, and woe be it to the mermaids that live in the oceans of this world, should we ever find them. I think what we'll do is we'll pick the... The, the two strongest each of the... Um, of the flavors of mermaid and pick the meat from their bones? I agree. No. Oh, of wow. The, that of, was a... Of the, I, of the giants that we... And, and dragons that we picked up. So this is the best one. That one's down one point in each of those. That one's down two points in agility. That one's down one point each in strength and agility. But strength is a more important uh, uh, stat for them. So we're going to get rid of Kusantos and Telkis. Bye, guys. We'll pick more of you See guys you. up later if we need you, but we don't. Um, we also have four we just sorta... So our best silver dragons are these two on the bottom. Kaokun and Minuas. Because they have the most strength... And they have the most agility, and they even have the most intelligence. Like, they're just cut above. So we'll erase these two characters. And the ones you got rid of, you just sort of shoo them out into town? Yeah. And then they go nuts? Yeah, that sounds right. Then, let's see, you're a rock golem, which is nice. Rock golems are, are helpful and handy and useful. But you're still a regular golem, aren't you? You are. And it may be easier for us to switch him over to a rock golem than, uh, than try to figure out what the uh, requirements for the golem to turn into a rock golem are. I don't know. 
Anyway, I guess we're gonna call this an episode here. I'm just gonna check my items list just to make sure that, like, Brunhild isn't, like, laying there. Because I'd feel really stupid if that was the case. Pearl. Beehive. Dragonstone. Kusanagi Blade. Forest Pendant. Containens of Forest Spirit. Dragon Claw. Fire Shield. Moonbeam. Cures and Heals. Oh, so I did buy more of those. Wait, why doesn't it... Oh, it did. Okay, fine, whatever. It's freaking weird, but alright. Um, yeah, we do not have the Brunhild Sword, as far as I can tell. I would have to, like, check all my characters, which would take too long. We don't even know where Brunhild is Brun hiding. That's also true. I'll, I'll do this checking offline because I don't want to waste everybody's time any more than I already have. Um, our army went hey, off. I had fun. I mean, it's, it's, it's fun to have a kind of a, a day off episode to kind of like look around and, and follow up on some of the stuff in the game's lore. I mean, I'm, but, not, okay. I'm not angry with that. It, it, it could be much worse. I didn't tell you my uh, my recent story. I, I finally did it. I had 23 minutes straight uh -huh. of microphone not being on. Oh. Well, that's fun. And it's even worse than that, because it wasn't like I was gaming or anything. I specifically had jumped on... To rant uh, about something? At, completely at random to uh -huh. talk about uh -huh. the Legion Go. And okay. I spent 23 minutes talking about all the things I liked and didn't like about it. And then, and then someone jumped into chat and was like, hey, your microphone's muted. <laughs> oh, God, that's devastating. Yeah, and, and, you know, I really nailed it, too. And so then I was going back and like, okay, I'm going to talk about all the things that I talked about a minute ago. And, and it just didn't come out as, you know, fresh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It always is a little stale after you've tried it once. All right, well, I guess we're going to call this an ep a short episode, which is kind of a nice respite after our three- and four-hour episodes, which are going to continue again next week. Next week, we're headed to Milano, which is a city over here on this peninsula here. And uh, we're going to take that city on and uh, keep pressing forward. And, uh, well, if we're lucky, we'll find some kind of clue that leads us to figure out how to get to the Brunhild Sword on the Castellation Sea. And, uh, man, like, hopefully we figure that out. Someone, it's somewhere treasure hunting a time. It, it, it's not. This episode was treasure hunting time, and we failed. But that's okay, because we did a really good job of looking. And we used the dowser, and the dowser said, there's nothing here. And then we loaded the save to make sure that we didn't waste the dowser, because we're going to need that dowser. Anyway. It, it's yes. treasure hunting time, and we failed. Describes so much of my life. Yeah, pretty much. Alright, well, uh, Wednesday we've got Dungeon Siege. Friday we're going to be doing some more MechWarrior 5. Over on the YouTube channel on Tuesday we've got Labyrinth of Toho, which we're almost done with. And on Thursday we've got Dragon Quest 3. So if any of that sounds good, feel free to go take a look. Uh, but in any case, I'll say thanks for watching, thanks for listening, and uh, thanks Muppy for hanging around. Do you have anything to plug? No, still got the old Muppy channel going, but I have not yet settled into a regular thing. Fair enough. All right, well, we will see you all next time. Thanks, thanks again, and we are out of here. <laughs>